ashamed, alone. And she sees this lady's pointed out because this woman comes to draw water during a time when nobody else would be there to draw water. She didn't want to be seen. She was that girl, you know? She was that girl in town that all the other women talked about. So she sure didn't want to go to draw water when the other women were going to be there because she was the whore in town that everybody had things to say about. But Mary recognized, you know what? It wasn't that long ago that I had a number attached to me too. Ashamed, alone, pointed out, yet left out, useless and used up. And just like Mary, when this woman had a face-to-face encounter with Jesus, everything changed. John continues and says, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him. And because of the word of this woman who testified, he told me all that I ever did. And so when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them. And he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. And then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you've said, for we ourselves have heard him. And we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. John 4, 39-42. And I I imagine that as, as, as this woman at the well began to run back into town to tell the people what all the Lord had said to say, there truly is a prophet. He's told me everything about, I imagine that Mary would have said, hold up, sister. Hold on. Don't go by yourself. Let me go with you. Let me tell you my story. Together, we can go back and tell the world what he has done. I imagine as they ran back into town to tell the people about a man named Jesus that they identified with one another's darkness and pain and loss. But more than anything, I believe that they looked at each other and they said, once we were blind, but now we see. I believe that they said, we can stand back to back, arm in arm. I believe that I think Mary would tell us that when you see a sister get freedom or when you see a brother finally get sight, that you can look at them and say, you know what, you're not alone because I've been there too. When you see that prodigal finally come home, that you can say, you know what, come home shamelessly. You are not alone. That you can finally say you can come into community. I believe that Mary would tell you that community, in fact, is the first step back to the original plan and design that God has for your life.